It is no more the season of waiting and seeking, but it is now the season of manifestation. It is a time when God is saying to you that there is no need to continue waiting and praying for your miracle. But start rejoicing, because He had done it. It is your time for a testimony. Whatever happened in the history of anyone can be replicated in your life. There is nothing like it was the special grace of God just for only them. That's not true. The Bible already tells us that God is not a respecter of persons. What He did for one person, He can do for another person if the person can trust in Him and believe that He's able and willing to do the same for them. There's only one thing that pleases and satisfies God, which means that if you want to get God to move and work in your life, you don't have to be uncertain about how God will do it and when He will do it. God does not work in uncertainty, where it's maybe or maybe not. The supernatural can be cooked and predicted. You can know when and how God will give you a testimony. There's a logic of the supernatural that's based on just one foundation, which is faith. Without faith, it's impossible to satisfy or please God. If you want to please God and touch His heart to move for you and your life, you have to believe He's done it already in the Spirit, and not that He's trying to do it, because God is a Spirit. Everything He creates starts from the Spirit before it manifests in the natural. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Before you see that testimony, it has already happened in the eye of God. Faith sees the way God sees. When people do not agree with the perspective of God, there will be a blockage in their life, and they'll live life with the results of God. Some people live life without the power of God and the wisdom of God. They may still have little wins in life, but no one can do anything mighty on earth for God and His purpose without being supernaturally and marvelously helped by God. It is not possible in any way to do anything big and mighty for God without the power of God. God says that if you want to please and satisfy me, you must believe that I am all to you, and you must believe that I am the gracious rewarder who rewards your faith in me for your prosperity and your well-being. You must see as God sees to see and experience testimonies in your life. Faith does deal with, it is going to happen, but faith deals with, it is done already. When God saw the darkness in Genesis, He did not say it was dark and began to complain. He spoke light and said, Light be, meaning in the darkness ye saw light and called out the light from it. The Word of God says that God commanded light out of the darkness. There is a testimony in that tough situation you're in, beloved of God. You do not cry and complain about what's not working in your life. Faith does not work on tears, and God only does not respond to cries. He responds to your faith. So you must understand how faith works and begin to walk by faith. You must see differently when others are thinking carnally. When people are complaining about the recession, you are speaking the mind of God that this is my best year yet, and this year will not pass by without me being a millionaire and a lender to nations. You must begin to think as God thinks and speak as He speaks. God is always saying to us that it is done. God is saying to you that there is a possibility in the dark situation you're in. You must agree with Him also. It's so easy for God to give a miracle because, in heaven, they operate by a different economy. Sometimes when you're doubting about the ways of God as revealed in the past, you should remind yourself about the testimonies of God in the past. It is the same God that told Moses to take the children of Israel out of Egypt when they were amid the Red Sea. And it seems as if there was no hope because in the back there was a crowd of titans rushing to kill them and in front of them was the Red Sea. They had no place to turn but to God, and God said to them, quote, It is done. Stand still and see the salvation of your God. End quote. And Moses split the Red Sea, and they walked past through the difficult situation. 
the difficult situation in your life will turn into a testimony, and it has been done already. There's no need to worry or be perplexed about anything in life again, because Yahweh has finished His work in your life. It is so awesome that when the Word of God speaks about divine health and healing, God spoke of it as something that is already a done deal. God said, quote, By the stripes of Jesus, you are already healed. End quote. You are not about to be healed, but you have been healed. So you just have to walk in what God has already done for you. God says that when you pray, believe you have received it, and you shall have. He never said to pray, and until you see it, you believe it. No. The moment you prayed concerning that troubling situation in your life, at that very moment, believe you have received it. Believe that God has given you the job. Believe He's already healed. Believe He's already given you the open door. Don't say, I have not seen it, or I don't feel as if I'm well. Faith does not work on feelings, or work in feelings. You can't be living by your feelings and emotions and be walking by faith. Be stubborn in your walk of faith, even though it doesn't feel like it. Believe that God has done it and it is time for your testimony. Not every one of us is in generational, but for your testimony. Look at the mirror and be like Abraham, who stood by the word of God. I see this circumstance change in the name of Jesus. It will change for my good in Jesus' name. I am not entering the new year with this bodily pain and this financial crises. Like Abraham, you should be fully persuaded that what God has done is done for real, and nothing can change or stop it from manifesting. The word says that against hope, even when it seems as if there is no hope for him, that he will give birth to a child. He believed in hope, that according to what God has said concerning him, it will come to pass. Don't give up yet. Stand on the word of God that declares that he has done it already, and that today marks the time for your testimony. I once heard of a brother giving his testimony about how God raised him from being a beggar to being a multi-millionaire in a very short period. And it was so marvelous how God did it. He was in his house just scanning through his books when he heard a big bang on his door. And he was very curious to know who would be banging on his door so loud so early in the morning. He opened the door and found an old man standing at his door and asked, Sir, is there any issue? The old man told him that he was looking for where he could get land, and informed him that he was new to the neighborhood, and this young man said he does estate management. He took his phone and called one of his friends who knew a lot about the land, and he showed the old man the land around the neighborhood, and the old man told him that he needed someone to build a house on the land, and he would like him to look for one and manage the house, no matter how much it'll cost. The young man accepted the offer and received about $100,000 to manage the house from the old man. This is someone he's never met in his life before. This is how the young man became a multimillionaire in just a few days. That is what only God does. That did not come because of anything the young man deserved or what he did. It was God that did it. It was the time of his testimony, and he received his miracle. This is not isolated to some people. 